What's up, guys? It's Raph in the Raph Cave. Welcome back to another CX video. Now, this here is going to be on burn in image retention. Oh, I don't want to buy an OLED for burn in, I don't want to use it as a computer monitor, play video games, it's going to burn in. All right, let me put you guys' mind at ease. I've owned an OLED for three years now. An OLED TV has been here the entire time, whether it be the B7 LG, which is even worse as far as image retention and burning goes with no, uh, not as many uh, image retention uh, countermeasures as this one does. And no burn-in, no image retention, use it as like a PC monitor 24-7. I mean, this is all I did. PC monitor and video games, that was it. Now, going to the AAF, Sony had that for a year and a half. Same thing, PC monitor, video games, and that one had a couple as well, pixel shifting and panel refresh. No burn-in, fantastic, beautiful, great. Now with this CX, C10, this has logo dimming. Now the other two OLEDs didn't have that. That's a third measure to get rid of any image retention or burn-in possibilities. Now, when you buy an OLED, it's expensive and you know what you're getting. You're gonna get the best TV possible. Now, something like this is not designed to go in a sunroom or a living room that has tall windows all around with tons of light coming in. This TV is not going to give you the brightness you want to pop in that type of room. So what you're going to do is when you do get this TV and put it in a sunlight, sun, uh, a bright room and all these things, you're going to crank up the brightness. You're going to max out the OLED panel, max out the contrast just to compensate for that light coming in so you can see a nice image. But in doing that, you're putting a lot of stress in the panel. So then if you're, if, if, if you're buying the TV for your own purposes, great, because you know what to do. But if it's a family TV, everyone's going to have access to it, watching everything. You don't even know what's going on. And they leave it on a pause or a still image or a DVR screen or who knows what it is, right? It could happen. But I'm just saying. Now, there are measures in this TV that can, that can get rid of that, and I'll show you that in a moment. But I just want to give you the philosophy of, this type of TV is meant for a, a light control to a dark room because then you can appreciate the deepest blacks possible on any TV. And in order to see the deepest blacks, you want to have a darker room, right? Then you can really appreciate it. And then you don't have to crank up the contrast and crank up the OLED light all the time. So that right there puts less stress on the panel, which means it's going to not have that image retention or burn-in. Now, our teams have done a, like a, a huge uh, burn-in test over a year, and they, they, it passed. Right? There's some things that they did. Um, now, when you're watching TV or you're using it as a PC monitor or gaming content, you're also probably going to watch TV. Am I right? Because you want to see movies on this thing too. So you're going to vary the content. It's not constantly video games and PC icons all the time. You're going to watch a TV show. You're going to watch a movie, which I would recommend because then you're always using half of the, the, the potential of an OLED in just video games. You want to explore Dolby Vision movies and Netflix and, and 4K movies all stuff then you really see the benefit. But then you're gonna vary your content, so you're not gonna be always a static image. It's gonna be moving and stuff, so the panel sees that, and it's like, cool, no problem. I'm not gonna be always seeing little icons and pixels there. No worries, guys. Now, this right here, I'm playing you know, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, there's that, that letters right there. That's fine, right? Because I'm not gonna sit here and, and leave it like this and go upstairs and go grocery shopping or have dinner and just leave it like this. Why would I do that? It's an OLED panel. I don't need to. I'm gonna turn it off. Right? Or, you know, you're going to pause it, which still gives you static image. You're not going to do that. Why not just go to TV? Why not just put on the news? I put on regular TV. Boom, I can go upstairs and do whatever I want. No problem. That's all you got to do. You go back to video games, it's still there waiting for you. No problemo. Now, let me show you what the measurements are, or the measures to, to counter counteract uh, image retention and burning. God. By the way, this TV. All right, so what I'm doing now, these are my newer settings now, right? OLED light. Now, OLED light, in my eyes, this is how I, this is how I translate OLED light. OLED light basically is how much you want to show of your OLED panel. Imagine a curtain. Curtains close at zero. 50% opens up a little bit. 75% or 100. At 100, 
Your old Ed's out there. It's standing strong. It's proud. It's great. Showing you all this glory. No problem. Contrast that is imagine a flashlight that's beaming right into your eye. How much of that flashlight do you want beaming into your eye? I don't want all the flashlight in my eye. So I'm going to drop that down to 75, right? That brings all brings that contrast down. You're not going to overblow the whites and stuff. It's going to look fine. And that puts less stress on the panel. Okay. Now, those countermeasures, right? Picture, OLED screensaver. Okay. Now, this is the bread and butter of getting rid of that image retention burn in. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Right here, right? Pixel refresher. Now, pixel re refresher is a really awesome thing. You know when I bought my uh, my 55 inch CX, and when I turned it on, there was a line right here. I ran this. Disappeared right after. It's gone. Now imagine pixel refresher being like an etch a sketch, where there's lines in there, and if you shake it, it goes away. Kind of like that. If you ever were to see a kind of haze in the background or something, just you know something happened. You run that, it'll wipe it clean. Now, Pixel Refresher will run automatically after every four hours of usage. Maybe a, a condensed version of Pixel Refresher. Not the full-blown hour-long version. Just a small little, clean it up a little bit. That does not drop the life of the panel. Now, Pixel Refresher will take away a little bit of life. That'll happen automatically after about 2,000 hours. Or if you force it. Now, only force it if you see an extreme something going on in your background. Okay, it's fine. Screen shift. That's a pixel shifting technology. So every few moments, the whole screen will move a little bit to get rid of those pixels that are still on that image and shifts it to the next row of pixels. Right? So that less lessens the stress of the pixels, which is great. And the brand new one from last year and this year is Logo Luminance Adjustment. Now, logo luminance is, is if there's like a CNN icon or N MSNBC or CBS or whatever icon is still there after a while, that technology will dim that particular area of the screen to not be so intense of that logo. Now, if it gets to that point, you've really had it on for a long time on that still same image, image. but that is a really cool technique to get rid of a static uh, uh, icon or, or some kind of a graphic, you know what I mean, something. And then the fourth reason, the fourth, you know, right here is user care. You, user care of this TV. So you can go back to what I said in the beginning of the video. That's, that's you, right? Are you going to deliberately try to burn this TV in? That's on you. But it's going to be very hard to do it. And if you do do it, that must mean you didn't give a damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think you guys really should use this TV for everything. It is fantastic. Now, when I use it as a PC monitor, it's my PC monitor, okay? PC monitor, glorious PC monitor. It's wonderful. I love it. Icons down here, fantastic. Web pages are easy to read. It's just wonderful. I'm sitting back about four, five and a half feet away. Put a screensaver on. Easy. Screensaver. You put it on, no worries there for PC monitor. Not a problem. Well, guys, that is my preventative uh, uh, image retention burn-in. You're not going to get it kind of, kind of a video speech. I'm just saying, guys, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. You want the best TV in the market. It's the C10CX or C9 if you don't want to spend as much. This is the best TV you can own for everything, bar none. Now, if you have that bright room, maybe go QLED because... You just want a bright TV, but if you want the best picture quality, it's going to be an OLED, hands down. Amazing. Well, guys, that's all I can say. I try to answer all the comments of I've never experienced burning because I, I, the things that I mentioned in the video, I don't get it. So hopefully this helps you out and gives you the confidence to dive in and get the best TV like I have in your home and enjoy the picture that I'm seeing here in, in front of you which is awesome. I can't wait for next-gen consoles, guys. This TV is so damn good. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the views and likes on my videos, all the great comments you've been giving me and the tweaks and things like that and, and, uh, and uh, suggestions on getting the best picture out of this. It's awesome, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys, home theater rules. Stay, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. This TV's amazing. You're amazing.
Raft Cave Club is amazing. Thanks for joining me on this experience and this ride of getting the best. All right, guys, take care. See ya.